Good morning, Niskuna High School. This is Mr. Bianchi this morning, live from our TV studio. Would you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Some announcements for you this morning. Students visiting Albany BOCES today, please report to the entrance by the back bus loop at 1035. Well, the following students come down to the East Office during homeroom. Fade Eldridge, Emmett O'Connell, Julia Thurn, Nicole Overton, and Aya Osman. Attention seniors, if you have a freshman sibling, please see your homeroom teacher for your scheduled time to have your photo taken for the yearbook. And finally, next week from, from Monday, March 4th through Friday, March uh, 8th, Student Congress will be holding a coin drive in Crossroads, all proceeds will be donated to Save the Children's Yemen Children Relief Fund in honor of Mr. Flood. And now, I pass it to our weatherman, Evan. Thanks, everyone. Uh, good morning. Um, we have a very, very busy weekend coming up with a long period of active weather. Tomorrow, we're looking at a very light snowfall, maybe an inch or two. But my concern with that snowfall is for the Sunday night and the Monday storm, the strength of that system will dictate how strong and the track of the Sunday night storm. Models remain in awful disagreement this morning. Um, the European remains highest with about nine inches, and but the um, yesterday it had close to a foot. There has been a slight easterly trend this morning, um, and I expect that trend to continue. Not biting right now in any solutions, but uh, I, I like three to six inches right now. Subject to change uh, on the text alert system and the Instagram, so stay tuned as school on Monday could certainly be impacted once we fine-tune the forecast of the track. Again, very uh, sharp cutoff, too. Like green, Austro counties could get close to 9 inches while we could really get up to 3 right here. We'll send it over to the anchors. Happy Friday, everyone. Thanks, Ms. Rianki and Evan. Good morning, Niskuna. Today is March 1st. Here's what's making news around the school. First up, last night was the opening of Little Woman, and we would like to thank the crew, Pat, cast, and Pitt for a wonderful show and to remind our viewers that there are still three performances. That's right. There's a show tonight at 7 p.m., and the final two shows are tomorrow at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Tickets are still available. The box office is open during Lunch Mods today, so you can get your tickets then. The cost is $12 for students and $16 for adults. It's cash or check only, or you can go online to showticks4u.com to order online. It's a great chance to see your talented ta classmates this weekend in Little Woman. So, to the cast, we would like to say, break a leg. In club news, Drama Club has signed up for auditions for its spring musical, Around the World in 80 Days. The sheet is on the bulletin board outside the Little Theater. Slots are filling up quack, fast, so, sign, so go sign up for Around the World in 80 Days. And Creative Writing Club is reminding everyone that Java Jive is the night of an acoustic music and poetry that is coming up. But first, you have to sign up. The sign-up packets are outside D107. Please grab one if you plan to perform at Java Dive. Hey, remember the lecture that uh, the lecture on weather that our science deport department organized got canceled and then organized again? Well, it's been rescheduled for Tuesday, March 19th at 7 p.m. in the Little Theater. It will still feature Andrea Lang, a professor of atmospheric sciences from SUNY Albany. Again. The science lecture will be Tuesday the 19th at 7 in the Little Theater. Did you hear that, Evan? Anyways, hey, our high school is having its first multicultural fair this Wednesday, the 6th, during blocks 3 through 5. Sign-up info is on the screen. Please act quickly if you're planning to take part. A reminder that the Scott McAndrews Outward Bound Scholarship applications are still available in the library. The scholarship provides up to $1,000 for the outward bound trip of your choice. The deadline to apply for the Scott McAndrews Scholarship is next Friday the 8th. Next week is World Language Week from Monday, March 3rd to Friday the 8th. You'll have the chance to practice tongue twisters, trivia, 
and especially selected authors in the library. Watch the TVs around the school as Niski Una High School celebrates World Language Week with daily fun in French, Spanish, German, Chinese, and Latin. World Language Week is a national event that our school has participated in every year. And the poster you see now on the screen was made by Niski Jr., Leslie Abnoon. Nice job. It's not on the screen. Uh, Why is it, are we waiting for, okay. Go. Okay, <laughs> that's all we have right now. Don't forget to see your talented friends in the musical Little Woman this weekend. Break a leg. Don't literally. But have a great weekend, Niskuna. <laughs> <laughs> that was thinking in my home.